Hello, it's Olua Shion Ajibade here, and I welcome you to another session of tutorial right here on my YouTube channel, Adisha Graphic. First, I welcome you specially into the new month of November 2023. This month is going to be the best month ever. You're going to be getting a lot of gigs, and you're going to be winning strong. So basically, in this month, we're going to be learning a whole lot of new stuff, new tricks, and all of that. So for this month, I have here a particular tutorial. But firstly, before I transit into the dimension of showing you the trick, I would like you to smash the subscribe button right now, click the share button, and also like and drop your comments. These things are important to help the algorithm of this channel to grow. You understand? Thank you very much. Okay, so now let's journey further. Now, this um, tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create what I call the grungy, um, not really grungy, but a kind of background that has to do with um, that you can fade your text in such a way that um, the text will still be visible. So, what I'll just call it is a gondry paper effect kind of so now basically it's a very um, simple trick yes it's a very simple trick so now this is it if you notice now this is my text this is my text and um, coming let me just delete all this all this so let me delete all this yeah so we have okay yeah let me just if you notice look at okay sorry let's remove this can you see normally this way the background is meant to be and um, this way the text is meant to be just like this but with the help of this i was able to get something that that blended the text to the background so we can talk we can say a blending um effect on pixel app so that's it a blending effect on pixel with your text so now it's a very simple trick yes so and i'm going to be showing you how it works now basically i'm one of designing and i'm just going to show you how to just manipulate a whole lot of things here imagine your text having this kind of feel so it's very easy so now let's just get into the let's just get into what we have for today so i'm just going to tap here and pew, everything clears so first things first i'm just going to import the background that was used i'm going to use from gallery so that it stays to my um folder but you can decide to change the image size for example that particular size was f um 1350 by 180 1080 rather 1350 by 1080 so you can just oh sorry um 1080 by okay 1080 by 1350 1350 yeah so what i'll do next is just do i'll just start from um from gallery so it imports directly to the background like it saves automatically so okay we have this so this is the background here so you can see it so i'm just going to pick you pick a particular part that suits you unlock this then just bring this here and voila so you have that now the next thing is to get your text and just put if it's a countdown design or whatsoever for example let's just use um this so subscribe yeah so as you are looking at this just make sure you are subscribing so that yeah so just make sure you are subscribing so first thing change the fonts just use any font basically let me just see my recent folder okay this was the font that was used before yeah yeah so just get this done okay 
uh, probably you can just put subscribe now yes i'm talking to you if you are from germany from togo from ghana i want you to subscribe now you don't want to miss out and also turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified yeah because you don't want to miss out on amazing tutorials yeah yeah so now once you've done this now please a trick to pay attention to here make sure that the color you are using for example if we use white now okay now the next thing to do is just import the uh the background separately now then you cut out that size that you want to use that's used for the background so that it blends properly you can just touch it you get the idea okay i think we cut out this part so let's do something like this yeah now please pay attention to this any now i want you to pay so much attention to this any color that you are using like make sure the color is kind of blending to the background in such a way now this is it now this is what you do for example i'm using white now but you see that it's you not know, might not give you that feel so what you do now is go to your erase color erase color turn it on then come to this um uh, eye drop out to then tap on this okay wow well, this is also fair enough this is also fair enough but you now if you want this to make much more sense and also um i'm just taking my time to explain so that we don't miss out on anything please make sure that the parts you are picking is actually okay let's undo all this sorry let me undo okay yeah so tap on the erase color again turn it on then make sure the pack uh, the parts you are picking maybe like the dark darkest part or something you get so that by uh, hand so that it gives you this feel you get so that it gives you this grungy feel do you understand so because if you pick the light parts now it can it cannot uh, it might decide not to suck the parts um the part um the best part so that's why it's advisable that you pick the parts that suit very well i believe you get what i'm saying cha i believe you do so just leave it this way so that it becomes original now the next thing for you to do to make this work you can now reduce the opacity of the text do you get it sorry reduce the opacity of the text ah no it's not you can see that it's not really giving that that vibe it's not looking you can see it's not looking it's not it's not giving that vibe so what you do is that you pick a color now let's return let's return the opacity back uh of this uh, you pick it uh, you pick a particular color that suits that blends with the background for example now we're just going to do something like go to your color picker and just pick something like yeah then you can just adjust the um the um the tint and just add a little bit so that's okay you just need more tint a bit yeah you you will see that you you will see that it will give you that vibe that you saw in the first flyer um uh, change this okay now let's make this a little bit brighter a little bit brighter okay so that's where you just adjust it you can see you will see that okay now so now you can now readjust the this appropriately you will see that it's giving this blend mode you can see this is giving this blend mode to the text so now if you export this now people will be like wow okay where's the full screen in this place you can see that if i show you this design you're like wow how are we able to manipulate this it is this simple trick so thank you for staying to the end i believe you get the trick i believe you understand don't watch this video alone it's a warning you understand make sure to share and share
thank you and see you in the next video tutorial smash the subscribe button now god bless you bye for now